In this demonstration, we're going to talk about how to send and edit the welcome emails that get sent out to the users with their login credentials. Uh, if you need to edit them, it is housed under the control panel and then here under the employee settings. And then if you scroll all the way to the bottom, you're going to see this edit welcome email here. Once you click on that, it does give you the subject that is automatically populated in there and then also the message that's populated as well as a preview of what that's going to look like when it's sent out to your users. It will give a link to your site as well as a link to the Apple and Android downloads for them to download and log in on the app as well. Um, if you want to add any additional information to this, you can adjust that subject just by typing in text in there, adding any additional uh, text to the message, and then lastly, attaching anything to the file. Um, you can also send your welcome emails directly through here as well by clicking send emails, and it actually won't send, so you can click that OK. And then this is where you get to choose who it gets sent out to. So there is that option to send to all your users in the site. Just as a note, since you're already logged in, it will not reset your password and resend you a welcome email because you're already logged in. Um, any non-admin users that aren't an admin in the site. And then lastly, you can just do a limited option where you just choose a person it goes to and or add a condition by their job title or their location or something like that and only send it out. Or even again, that role type. If you were wanting to send it to a certain role, you can do that as well and have those options. Once you have those parameters set, um, you will actually see this button here that says send to four employees. This is actually where it would send that welcome email initially. Um, also, as a note, it does auto-generate a unique password that they'll have to type in, and then once they log in for the first time, it'll require them to change it to something unique. Um, otherwise, if you want something else typed in here, you can use your own password just as long as it's 12 characters long with a capital, a number, and a special character. Um, so that's one way to send them out. Another quick way is if you go to a user's profile in the employee section, if you need a quick password reset, um, there is a forgot password link on the homepage, but if you were ever logged into the site and needed to resend someone their welcome email, you can click a link to their profile. And as long as they have an email address house on their profile, then you get a direct link right here to send welcome email. This actually houses right under this registered date. And the registered date is a very useful tool because you can use it to see when they first log in for the first time. Um, so this date will capture based off of when they first logged in and you'll be able to see if they've logged in or not and send them a welcome email right here from their profile. And again, kind of similar format, you can just click send to one employee and it would automatically send that out to Sam Chavez here. Another option to send out welcome emails in mass is also through the employee section. You can either filter your options on screen by who you need to send it to, whether that's by job titles, locations, or so forth, that role type you get here as well. And then whoever's filtered on screen, it will only send to those uh, people. And I'll just show you that in just a moment. One thing I wanna point out lastly, is that registered date is a very useful tool. If you wanna send out welcome emails at any time to any of your users who have not logged in yet, just filter this item to none. And then you can see now it triggers up to four people instead of five because I have actually logged in. And now on my search bar, I can drop down the white drop down arrow and click the welcome emailer and only send to those four employees from there. So that's how to quickly send the welcome emails from the KPA EHS platform. Feel free to reach out to our email address, support at kpaehs.com if you have any questions.